Hey guys, we're just going to do a real quick retopo on this thing so we can go over and bake it in Marmoset. So let's just get it prepped here real quick by kind of fixing some of this stuff. Okay. All right, so we're going to rotate this like so. Now this is all subdivided and mirrored, so we're going to apply the mirrors real quick. I'm going to make this a single mesh. So apply that one. It's going to be high poly. It's fine because we're going to be baking it, right? Okay, so now it's set up as a single object. By hitting Control J, we can join it all together. So, all right, now we need a low poly mesh for this because it's going to be pretty hard to go back and clean this up, right? So there's a little trick to this. It's kind of a cheater method. But I create a cube, go into edit mode, scale it up, hit Alt Z, kind of center it as best as I can. I'm going to right click and subdivide this a few times. Hit Shift R to do it again. So something like this maybe would work out just fine. We're going to add a shrink wrap modifier. We're going to shrink wrap it to the high poly. And there we go. All right, so it more or less creates as a, a, um, a convex shell is all it's really doing. Uh, it's not perfect, though. So if we look at the wireframe here, we could turn off the high poly for just now. You can see it did okay-ish, but it's kind of all over the place. It's not maybe the best it could be. Okay, so... What we're going to do is we're going to apply the shrink wrap. Go into edit mode. I'm going to press Alt S. Scale it up. Control V and smooth vertices. I'm going to hit Shift R now. Do this number a couple times. Okay. And we can re shrink wrap it to that high poly, and it's going to give us a little bit of a better result here. Okay. And so, of course, you can always come back in here later on. Like you could apply this, go back into edit mode, scale it up a tiny bit. And you can, of course, shrink wrap it one more time back to the base mesh. Okay. And so now you can actually turn on like surface snapping or face project, medium point, align rotation to target. Uh, you could do closest. Let's try project individual elements. Uh, we could turn on x ray as well. So it mirrors what we're doing. And we can start to move these things around and snap them to the surface. And you'll notice that, well, it's not really working for x ray. So that's not going to work too well. We might just need to symmetrize it over again later, but we can actually just kind of approach this like a standard retopo now and run around and make adjustments and tweaks to it however we see fit. So like maybe this area, I want like a uh, an inset in here or something like that. Press G, kind of move it a little so it snaps. Tweak it a little bit. It's a little jumpy though. You do have to be a little bit careful with this, but generally it's not too bad. All right. And so what we can go ahead and do is leave it as is, or you might try smoothing the vertices a little bit more if that helps out. Get it smooth. Now you can just go through and pretty much um, unwrap this thing however you see fit. In this case, I'm going to do the bottom something like this. A big loop there at the bottom that's going to split it into two kind of different sections all right now side note if you have if you apply this if you have something like quad measure i still highly recommend uh, just using quad measure we'll turn on symmetry for x remesh it and see what we get here it's not too bad maybe too high poly you can always bump down the polygon count right or the face count and so you can get something like this as well which is much cleaner a little bit faster too and boom there you go now you have a good low poly kind of shell to bake onto so this high poly will be able to bake uh, to this low poly fairly easily you're not going to have too many major issues with it right and so we'll be baking that in marmoset tool bag right in the next video take care